All right. Thank everyone. Everything now works. Yeah. Okay. Seems like things are working. Just gotta wait for Minecraft to launch. Okay, why is Minecraft taking so long to load? Dang. And now, why is it launching on the wrong screen? I'm tired of. Oh, it changed which screen is prioritized. What? Hi. Putting in the technical crap is being crappy screen. Technical crap is being crappy. Okay, that's uh things why don't you just work? Uh. Yay, Minecraft, now to get it to the correct screen. Setting off full screen to correct screen. And that did not work. Why did that not work? Okay, whatever. I can just this like this, so all good. Uh, accepted. Not showing up on this list. Oh. 
did it do? Why is it like this? Do I really just have to... Yep, in order to have it start, I'm gonna have to completely restart Minecraft. Just have to wait for Minecraft to load again. Okay, it is loading. Loading on the correct screen. Okay. It is working uh once it loads. Hello. Hi. I'm starting to work on the periodi uh, periodic table project. Oh, nice. So I basically set up a f um, big amount of draws, 118, and the periodic table configuration. Now, um, now I'm just putting in the the elements when I get them. So it, it's pretty cool looking because. When I get one, it feels more and more complete. Hmm. Cool. I haven't messed around with that yet. Yeah, I also got a fission reactor set up. Funny thing, you can apparently make a miniature periodic table that acts like a map. Hmm. You can pull it up in the big screen. I can give you a copy if you want, but just hand it over when you're done. This. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, if you right click it, it will open a menu. I see more. Yeah, it gives the all the information. Yeah, okay. Nice. 
If you want to see over here and walking on the periodic table. Oh, that's what you're working on. Okay. Fancy. Yeah, that's looks pretty cool, right? Yeah. And uh, thank you, Pedal. Uh, good to know that it is actually working now. The stream? Yep, it is. Yeah, Finally it's... working. Yeah. I have no idea what happened, but the game I was trying to stream just did not appreciate, like, anything. Uh. Yeah. I did uh, dissolve some discs and turn them into lead. You can dissolve discs? Yeah, you, oh. and you yep, can dissolve okay. discs into lead. So I I took like two discs because I needed a bit more lead for the reactor glass. Interesting. I also have two copper singularities made. Singularities, wow. I mean... I honestly, I'm give me a lot of copper. Yeah, honestly, I'm kind of surprised Snom wasn't turning the copper into singularities himself. I don't. I think he didn't want to risk his player character getting corrupted again. <laughs> Something. Yeah, I guess. I don't know what in the world that was that, that day. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I've been doing some work. I also uh, automated the wood to diamond process. They found some very easy to use pipes uh, instead of the logic system. So I'm just using pipes instead of logic now. Nice. At least I'm using the pipe for item transferring. Collecting ammo from my potato cannon. By the way, there's something weird going on. Hmm? There's something very weird going on. I have the... in the buff Bad Omen, and now I can see every mob on the map. Oh, that's not what uh, Bad Omen does. Uh, bad Omen causes a raid to start if you go to a village. Yeah, I know, but... But no, everything glowing Omen. is something that Potato has. Oh, that... okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, Potato has a charm that makes everything around him glow. Ah. I thought it was Bad Omen because the second I got Bad Omen I was just licking and uh, trying to understand what happened. <laughs> no, Bad Omen is uh, something else. It triggers the raids. Yeah. yeah, I know. I've played it before. I know what it does. Like, I was confused because I thought that was the cause. The second I got it, they started glowing. <laughs> so it was time to just right. See what what was. Oh, what what pendant is that? Oh, the spectral eye amulet. Oh, nice. Oh, I need to pin this chest over here, otherwise, uh, my magnetism is gonna just yoink it. Yeah. <laughs> Even though we do have. Uh... So you know how pickup priority works? Like the person who logged on first has pickup priority. Oh, interesting. I did not know that's actually how it works. So I thought it was just whoever it was to closest to. Things, uh, that's how I managed to pick up some things uh, when when you were filling it with your magnet. Fortunately, can I go into a curio slot? Although I think there is yeah, another that... curio, like the third eye or whatever, that does a similar effect. From the pain, yeah. If I'm thinking correctly, yeah. Yeah, it was the third eye. I do. You wanna help me fill out the periodic table? Yeah, it might be Botania, but yeah, good luck getting into it.
You could just be like me and just not get into it, but have everything anyways. Yeah, <laughs> because of Ola. Oh, there's the music disc. I have so many just dumb things. Like what? I don't know, just things. I have a tool for literally every situation. And like <laughs> three weapons. Oh. I have one funny weapon I made. Uh, some of them are, yes. I made a funny weapon. I have a netherite <laughs> pickaxe. That's the weapon um, I made. A Gaia ingot sword. Gaia ingot halberd, a myolite sickle, cobalt crossbow, myolite axe, flint and brick that does this. Oh, like nether brick? Uh, yeah, it's a special thing for Tetris. Also, too, if I punch someone with it, it sets them on fire. Uh, if I punch someone with this, they, it does a lot of damage. So punch someone with that, you get slash kill. That's why I'm not doing it. <laughs> wow, that thing is burning you for a while. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine. Jeez, okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind for punching people with this. That it just doesn't way, stop. Still, yeah, I still haven't gone mining yet. And managed Dude, to get seriously. a full reactor set up without mining. I, the only thing I went mining for was... Uh, and the side and die light, that's the only thing. But ore mining, I haven't done yet. Dude, it's called a uh, pickaxe. It lets you play the game. I mean, mining is half of the name of the game, but... But I'm just gonna focus on the crafting half instead of mining. I should enchant this uh, trident. With what enchant? I don't know. Either channeling or riptide. Riptide lets you go fast. Uh, channeling lets you do funny. I would go for channeling. I think that's a bit more than just a purple glove. Wait, what is that purple glove? What's the name of that? Hello I there. Think I've seen it. What's the name of it? Oh, is it the... Um... Whatchamacallit, uh... The Gauntlet of the God? And how much for it? I want one for myself. <laughs> Name your price. So, no, so you're not selling it? Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, hilariously, that is actually one of the reasons why I don't do very much. Um, what? It's actually one of the reasons why I don't do very much when it comes to, like, uh, trading, uh, not trading, um, farming and automating stuff. It's actually just so that way there's still stuff people can, uh, like, offer me. Yeah. So, like, especially yeah. when I start working on, like, banners and maps, I'm always going to be needing more dyes and paper. And I could just fully automate all of that stuff. I have everything I need to create all the dye and, uh, 
paper that I need. But yeah, by being enough. lazy, <laughs> but by being lazy, that means I can trade all my diamonds for dyes, and it gives me a reason to actually like you know trade and engage. Yeah, that that's a. Uh... So it's actually why I don't bother much with automation, because then it gives me a reason to not be overpowered. By the way, you can melt ender pearls into magnets. Yep. Neodymium magnet. Wait, I can't remember. Does there's something that allows prismarine to repair tridents? I can't. Um. Nope. No. Oh, wait a second, I just remembered. Tetris actually works on tridents. Oh, it does? Wait, I want to see this. What are you going to change in it? Uh. I don't know. But oh, technically, I, if I turn it into a... Uh, Tetra item, I don't have to worry about it breaking. Yeah. I can trade you my netherite pickaxe, quote unquote, for it. Also, too, it allows me to repair it. So, technically, I just converted it to Tetras, and now I can repair it using Prismarine. Yeah, that, that is pretty nifty. Huh. Fair enough. Funny. Uh, what should I enchant? Why am I suddenly covered in sugarcane? What? I'm under attack by sugarcane. I think I'll just leave the handle alone, because, uh, it's by using a trident as your base material is the only way to have a prismarine handle and a trident head. Mm. Nice. I wrap it with? I mean, honestly, membrane. Is there anything ocean-based that I could wrap it with? Water. I don't... I th physics generally says no to that. Seaweed. Actually, yeah, does uh that stuff count? Probably not, but I'll give it an attempt if I have any. Glow lichen would look cool, lily pad. If you don't have any kelp, I can. Oh, never mind, I can't make kelp in a. with alchemy. <laughs> you have been um, thwarted. I've been thwarted by kelp. Yes. Help, uh... Yeah, I might be willing to, uh... 
Take some. I mean, if you if you want to trade. Ah, finally, all the copper finished melting. Now my power system can finally have a break. Deal. It was all going to powering smelting copper. Alright, lily pads, seagrass, kelp, it does not work. I'd probably go for a glow lichen. <laughs> oh, what about a prism, uh, like, uh... There was a shiny prismarine shards. The prismarine crystals? Yeah, crystals. Yeah, those don't work either. Yeah. Uh. I'll wrap it in glow warm silk. That seems fancy ish. What's glow warm silk? Silk made by glow worms. Does it glow? Yeah, probably not. Ow. Indeed. Well, I can that tell it works. Too hot. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a trident. Yeah. Unfortunately, they only get impaling, which only works against aquatic creatures, which includes guardians. Sounds perfect. And yeah, that's about it. That's about it. <laughs> there are not many aquatic creatures. Unfortunately, drowned classifies undead, not aquatic. Ah! Which is unfortunate. But it does have loyalty, though, so... Chuck the thing. Imagine it doesn't come back. It will eventually come back. Ah, oh, I see it flying. See? Yeah, I see. Fancy. By the way, if you if you throw a trident for loyalty and fill your inventory slot that it goes to, it looks funny. I think it will just tried... drop if uh, you don't actually have the space to equip no, it. No, it doesn't drop. It doesn't drop. It does something funnier. Oh. I do know, though, if you throw it into the void, it's gone forever. Oh, yeah, because then it doesn't get, get thrown into... It doesn't hit a block or an entity. Yep. Like, try throwing it into the air and then filling that inventory, all your inventory up. Alright. Yes! Oh. <laughs> and, uh, press F5. You have a pet hmm. trident now. Nice. Always low, it would just drop eventually. No, it does not. You know what I should start on? I should start on my maps. I'm gonna do maps. See how fast I can fill map one. Out or like map, like maps, like see everything. Uh. Map art takes forever. I did it once to make a compass rose and uh. Yeah. Make a what? A compass rose. What's that? Um, you know the little thingy that show points like northeast, southwest? Yeah. Yeah, that's a uh, compass rose. That's what it's called? Yeah, that's what it's called. Oh, that's nice. By the way, uh, quick tip. If you ever need to transfer items, if, you, if you're, if you like, from one chest to another, an easy solution is using copper pipes instead of logic cables. Because hmm. logic cables are annoying to use. <laughs> Why didn't set them up? Because the, uh, co uh, the benefits of logic pipes is, like, inventory, like, having an inventory system. Copper pipes are just like normal pipes. They just transfer them from one area to another. Nice. So it's good for long range transportation instead of just hooking it all up to your same uh, system. They're pretty easy to make. Just two copper and one glass.
Enderman dodges uh, carrots. Well, and what? The Enderman, he'll dodge carrots. Okay. Fortunately, pigs can't dodge carrots. That's... <laughs> Weapon is so tough. The Titan? Uh, no, just. Um. Potato Cannon. Yeah. Uh, but no, the Trident is actually slightly useless at the moment. However, when it starts yeah. raining, that's when it becomes fun. Yeah, if you have Lip Tide. Oh no, I have Channeling. Oh, then he, it needs to be a thunderstorm. Oh, yeah. Well, we can always force a thunderstorm. Oh, yeah. It's a simple console command. Yeah. Or some botania shenanigans. Because I'm pretty sure you can make... Can force a rainstorm like a thunderstorm with Botania, but I'm not sure. Perhaps this stuff. Ramble, Ember and logs. Oh, uh, get in my pocket. Oh. By the way, how big of maps did you make? Usually, I make them for maximum size. Ah. Uh, it's going to be a while before you complete it. Yeah, I think they usually take me like an hour each. Basically, a while. Well, considering I have an unbreakable Elytra and uh, the booster unit from Tetras. What are the booster t uh, units? Uh, the booster unit from Tetra is uh, one of the belt upgrades. What does it do? Wait, what the crap? There's just wither roses growing here? Interesting. Um... I'm uh, brain dead. Uh, rocket booster. Yeah, uh, it allows you to use gunpowder to where you can either do, um, if you're on the ground, you can do a boosted jump. If you're in the air, you can press and hold it to, uh, kind of, like, hover. Oh. And if you have an Elytra, then, uh, it gives you flight, uh, boost your flight. Uh, it boosts it in a similar way to, like, uh... Fireworks. How fireworks work. It does not uh, boost as fast, though. Yeah, makes sense. So it's more of a gradual speed up and slow down rather than, like, zoom your flank. By the way, what is the fix you're going to do for the facade blocks? <laughs> uh, probably just remove them or blacklist them. Find some way to blacklist them from being pit into an uncrafting table. Or make it need to be crafted with other things. Like with multiple things that like uh you need to use up like no that never mind, that would make it even worse. Yeah, that would make it worse and uh more confusing. Yeah. Oh, I'll probably just find some way to blacklist it from being pit into an uncrafting table. Yeah, we have craft skills, don't we? A what? The mod craft tweaks that just let you tweak crafting recipes. Yeah. I'll probably just mess around with that and remove like the facade from uh being pit into an uncrafting table. Yeah. I don't think about it. I want some terracotta. Can I make that cut off up? Play. Play block in a furnace. 
Yeah, but I'm wondering if there's an easy way to do terracotta for alchemy. Like, straight up terracotta, not go for the clay. Shenanigans. Um, if you're going for that's alchemy, you can go into ka kale, kale on night. Yeah, but it just makes clay, but I wanted to see if there's a way to make straight up uh, uh, terracotta. Oh, just make I'll... terracotta? I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was looking for, but it seems like you can. Like, straight terracotta. Yeah. I'm collecting it for uh, Tinker's Construct. It's a much easier way of getting clay. Ah. So I can melt it into clay. And then from there, I can use that to make cheaper uh, seared bricks. Can't you and just put stone... Wait, can't you just put stone in the... In the smelt in the smeltering and it turns into sealed bricks. Oh yeah, it's if I bother with that. It's just cobblestone. Sounds like uh too much work. Okay. Yes. How dare you speak to me like I'm a reasonable individual. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that. <laughs> hey, do I have the torches? Oh cool, I do actually have torches. Do a dungeon. Hey, has someone already been here? Yeah, someone's already been here. Hmm. That's boring. I think it's potatoes and carrots, though. More ammo. Lush cave, though. Hmm. Found a giant hole in the ground, so I flew into it because I can. Uh. <laughs> Found a dirt igloo. Uh, check the floor. I think there's some. There's a chance for something under the floor. Uh, it was, um, there's no trapdoor. No carpet either. Uh, oh, then never mind. I think I've actually been in that one before, and that's the reason why there's no carpet there. Oh. <laughs> I've probably been in this area at least once. Okay, let's see how I'm... Okay, my uh, I'm going to try to make all the Infinity Gear legit. So <laughs> I'm going to start seeing if I... I just need a fusion reactor. Because I have a fission, but now I need a fusion. Fusion is going to be a bit more hard. To get I think I'm going too fission. fast for the server at the moment. Oh, so that's why there was a bit of lag. <laughs> yeah, probably just gonna start walking. Yeah, it's not too bad, but there is a little bit. Yeah, mostly annoying for uh, flying though, because it just kind of uh, yanks me rubber back every bags. now and then. Yeah, rubber banding while flying is super annoying. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can be a cheap skater and 
needless reactor casings and glass in order to make the the next reactor by putting them right next to each other. <laughs> I have a feeling that might not work due to the fact that it does. It's a multi block structure, so I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna try. Yeah, sometimes I know that for some of those it does recognize multi block structures, but if it doesn't actually change the block, I don't know if you could make multiple multi block structures using sharing blocks. No, it doesn't change it, so that's why I think yeah. it will work. It might work. Found a stone igloo. Trap door. A villager in there? Yep. Uh, wait, no, yep. Splash press and weakness. I have never seen a zombie, a uh, baby zombie villager appear. Oh, yeah, there's a baby one? Yeah. That's interesting. Eat. By the way, what does, um. <laughs> Insatiable... What does the insatiable buff do? I don't know. I also have a buff that's called Classified 5. Never mind, not, not classified, calcified. Means you have the strong bones. One strong bones, I can give it to you. You're just gonna give me your bones? Uh, I don't think that's healthy. No, it's healthy. in the, it's in the, in, it's an enchanted skull. I think I can okay. cast it on other, other players. Oh, an enchanted scroll. Okay. Yeah. Do you want strong bones for ten minutes? Uh, no. <laughs> also, too, I think I might actually have one of those scrolls already. I have a bunch of scrolls. Ooh, waste them. Come back from Florida when you add more mods. If you add any of the uh, magic probably. mods, if you add any of the magic mods, I will. Uh, I recommend that I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be 100% wizard. Nice. I, I probably will. I still need to look through them and stuff, and I want to make certain that I am capable of uh, around to be able to fix any crashes. Yeah. Because it's almost certainly gonna crash. <laughs> High high likelihood. Yeah. Number two, it going down into a uh, dungeon place. Has it been looted? Given the placement of these torches, I think it has. It has. Oh. <laughs> By the way, so you know the Eternals tell us how they make things unbreakable? Yep. I want to test with, with the Heavenly Bow to see if it actually breaks armor that's been enchanted with the Stella. It probably will. It's probably just yeah. some sort of, like, special effect tied to it where it just insta-breaks. Ignoring More durability. More damage than defense and then durability. Well, the thing is that it broke the Ignis, which doesn't even have a durability. Not, at least it doesn't show that it has durability, but it, it could have durability, but it, it just hides it and automatically repels it when it gets damaged without showing the bar. Honestly, though, the best way to do that would just simply be wear a head. Like, wear a skeleton head. Because since it's a placeable block, it doesn't have durability. 
and then oh, shoot them with the bow. Test that. that would probably be the best way. Yeah, you know what? Because if it breaks the head, then that means durability truly doesn't matter. It just breaks anything in the armor slots. Yeah, but would it break infinity armor? And this is how the server crashes. <laughs> By the way, you know what's funny? Hmm? Because of time zones, I'm already on April 1st. Oh, nice. What I'm hearing is it's time to start doing some pranks. Yeah. Just don't worry about your house while you're flying away. Well, filling up the map. Definitely won't do anything to it. Sounds like someone who's about to get their um, house TNT'd. Tainted with what? Uh, TNT'd. Oh, I had tainted, not TNT'd. <laughs> yeah, I can do that too. Don't worry, there's definitely nothing in your base. I definitely did nothing. Oh, so that's the prank? You took everything out of my base? <laughs> you I made it normal? I didn't do anything. Uh, the ultimate prank to do against me is just make my house normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I definitely didn't do anything. 100%. 100% free download, no virus. I don't trust free viruses. I only get viruses that I pay for. No, it's oh, free then I know they could. no virus. So it's a YouTube ad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, time to dissolve a bone and see what it gives. Probably calcium. Milk. Yeah, it would probably. Let's see if it does anything else instead of just milk. Uh, it has a, a potato. 30, up. See ya. Okay, it gave me three hydroxylophilite. With eight of these, I can make a skeleton skull. I found an easy way to make skeleton skulls by turning bones into skulls. Nice. If I can do any normal skulls. I have an easy way of getting skeleton skulls as well. Beheading? Yeah, it's just find a skeleton and take their skull. Yeah. Seem there to be any use for the skeleton heads. If I get a 32 Mandel Mandelvium, I can turn it into a Widow Skeleton Skull. But for that I need a fusion reactor, because if there's no fusion reactor, then it, uh, the only way to get the Mandelvium is to get Widow Skeleton Skulls. I just need a fusion reactor. Yeah, that's going to be an annoying process. It is so no, unnecessary, but I just love shooting things with this potato cannon. Yeah, that the potato cannon is pretty funny. It's the weakest weapon on me, but it's so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, I got my silicone. What the fuck? Uh, 
I just shoot myself with a potato. Did you? <laughs> I think I was flying fast enough that I did. <laughs> now that's funny. By the way, the potato cannon can also shoot carrots and the, like other cops, right? Yeah, it can all it can shoot carrots. Can it shoot golden carrots? Probably. What did it do more damage? I don't know. I know you can shoot uh, carrots, regular potatoes, baked potatoes, and poisonous potatoes. <laughs> baked potatoes? <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, shooting a flaming potato does not make a baked potato. <laughs> that which is been... unfortunate. That would have been funny. Yeah. Is there a way to make the potato cannon homing? Uh, not to my knowledge. As far as I can oh, tell, the only thing unique to it is, uh, the uh, potato recovery enchant. And then past that, it just yeah. uses uh, regular bow stuff. I might make a revolver soon. Yeah, revolver, you could probably do crap like that with. Yeah, that was a homing bullet. Yeah, I might soon get into uh, immersive engineering. I know I'm still doing uh, periodic elements. So I'm pretty sure I can make steel with uh, without immersive engineering uh, periodic periodic elements. Yeah, and there's a lot of the chemistry elements is. Uh... Generally usable in the other recipes. Yeah. Those most of them have compatibility for each other, to where no matter where the uh, ingot comes from, as long as it's the correct ingot. Oh, I don't. Doesn't. Yeah. A way to make a uh, gun. Wait. Yeah, I'm just not. Oh, that's right, this is where uh, Snom was clicking stuff, his uh, quarry. Ah, oh, Snarl has a quality? Yeah.
doesn't seem to be able to do it. Like, hmm. Yoda. Yoda doesn't seem to be steel. That's the thing. Hm. Yeah, there's just no steel in the chemistry. Oh, you're back. Yes. I also have my map. Yeah, I definitely didn't do anything to your house. Ow. I don't trust you. I mean, have you checked your other house? Yeah, I definitely didn't do anything. You found out what I do and what they did. Did you manage to figure out? No, everything in the correct place. I definitely didn't do anything. You want to know what I did? Uh, sure. I actually didn't do anything but making it, but I'm giving you suspense. So I correctly called it. I actually didn't do anything. Any clean inventory. What is a lot in flesh? Yeah. Give stuff. What type of stuff? Yeah. Let's see what let's see what happens if I put a lot of flesh in. Okay, rotten rotten flesh gives the protein. <laughs> Protein. Hmm. 
room, I put some cuts in and I... And that's what happens when you, uh, sit in Rotten Flesh. Oh, you can shoot apples. Cool. Hello? Hello. That's why you don't put rotten flesh in there. My Discord kind of crashed. Yeah, I, I uh, heard. Don't worry, I also heard. Okay, now let's see what happens when I break down some protein. Let's see what they give. Oh, oh, I joined. Oh wow, protein gives a lot. I'm currently looking through to see what else I can shoot from a potato cannon. Currently I found apples. Uh, like, uh, let's see if you can do a golden apple or a golden carrot. Yes to golden carrot. Yes to golden apple. That's pretty expensive. <laughs> Does it do more damage? Doesn't seem like it. It does give different stats. Ooh. Can you force feed someone a golden apple? Wait, try shooting a golden apple at me. It gave me the golden apple stats! Oh, enjoy. You can force feed a golden apple onto someone. Okay, so let's go back. Okay. Hey, so you want to see what a golden thing... carrot does? Yeah, sure. I'll come test it out. Fuck, I accidentally made another crafting table. Nice. Okay, it does a lot of damage. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That did so much damage. Oh my god. It, the ultimate it weapon. To... It got me down to two hearts. Yeah, that does almost triple the damage of the normal carrot. <laughs> so, it's worth it. Oh, yeah, apparently that's actually worth it. Yeah, so, I guessed correctly. <laughs> okay, so, breaking down protein, I got some ammonia. I also got some ethylene. And okay, you also shoot golden carbon berries. dioxide. I don't think you can shoot berries. <laughs> oh, you apparently can. Oh. Well then. Do they do poison damage? I don't know. Over here. Yeah, I'm coming. Hello. Hi. Hogs still do not like you. Oh, give me a moment. Okay. What? That was a potato, a uh, pumpkin. Apparently it didn't do too well. Let me go a bit further away. I think I'm too close. Or something. Or it's probably the logic cables actually. Yeah, then I'll just be back here. I'll put my protective reactor shield. Fuck, I'm out of reactor shielding. I think the pumpkin is very inaccurate. I'm seeing it flying it over there. Do the pumpkin point blank. Oh, what was that? That was a carrot. I shot through all the different okay. things I had loaded. Yeah, none of them did damage for, except for the carrot. Did any of them, like, cause effects? No. By the way, do you, do you have one... Uh, nothing's happening. It is hitting, but nothing's happening. Weird. Hey, let me, uh, yeah, 
I have no idea. By the way, yeah, do, you was, have uh, a golden uh, do you have a golden cat I can tie dissolving? Want that gold? Yeah, I want to see if it gives anything special. Actually, from looking through this stuff, it doesn't look like it can be dissolved. Can? Oh, does it have anything listed here in this uh, chest? Doesn't. Anyways, back to maps and shooting things. What's the map? What? Oh, you're not done with the map? No. I was just at the point in the map that I was uh, circling back over there. Ah. He's just throwing it into one mana pool, waiting with it. Uh. As I really should set up a uh, mana pool. Think. Are you gonna do a game of life? Or are you gonna do a... Like, basic charcoal? I don't know. I'll look through the crap and figure something out. I think I might try getting into the, uh, Botania. Ooh. Oh, that's not a lush. I thought I found a lush cavern, but it was actually just, uh, hanging cobwebs and green corundum. Ooh, green corundum is nice. I need some. Alright, I'll grab a little bit here. Yeah, I need a corundum in order to start making runes. In order to have cool enchantment glint. Get the fancy color to your stuff. Yeah. Make my infinity sh infinity shovel even more infinity. I think I might need some more hoppy bottom pots in order to have some backlog of wood. By the way, I made a tetra workbench, but I'm but I don't have any any tools to make it. Um, to start with the Tetris stuff, you need to have a base tool. Um, yeah, I know how it works, but I don't have any plans on making any tools. Oh, okay.
for dissolving. Uh, I only have like a five-ish percent chance of uh, getting it from Amethyst. Can't you just do it with yellow light? Well, Amethyst is a technically renewable resource. Yellow light is also a renewable resource. Just get a void drill. Uh, I have no. I don't have a fusion yet. When I get a fusion, if I had a fusion reactor, then I could have offered some help. Uh, Honestly, I have a whole stack of uranium. Uh. Well, raw uranium. Yeah. It's going to be a very slow process. Yeah. Biomes of Plenty definitely makes the maps a lot more colorful. Than more. Yeah. <laughs> Explode. I don't know how to do that. I haven't put sulfur in. I can lock that in.
what happened. Found a pretty flower. Oh. What's, what what, uh, what pink, flower it is? Pink daffodil. Oh. Let me switch it up. Apparently, using a crusher, I can also make quite a few different dyes with it. Yeah, that does look nice. Uh, pink dye and random chance for magnetic and cyan. Oh. Hmm. Oh, glow flower. Useful for cyan dye. And also give white dye if crushed. So, fun. funny is that uh the first time I've actually done exploration on stream huh. I don't think while stream I've actually left like a thousand blocks of spawn that's funny not because I wasn't wanting to do like exploration on stream I just never actually got around to it Or random spiders suffering a random uh, fly by shooting. Pretty decent velocity, even underwater. And it is affected by water. Unfortunately, the magic trees uh, do not seem to appear on the map. Oh. So the magic forest biome or whatever just appears as a regular forest. Oh. Uh. Actually, no, it just appears as grassland, actually. That's unfortunate. Oh, I found. Thank <laughs> you. 
Honestly, the majority of these maps, I'll probably just end up making like off stream or whatever. Yeah. Because uh, if I was to stream every single map I will end up making, that's going to be a lot of time. Yeah. But I also decided too that for uh, the Minecraft streams, anything I am like planning or prepping, I'm actually just going to stick to my the normal schedule time or whatever. So yeah. if I just randomly stream Minecraft, then it's just whatever I'm doing at that time. Try to keep some consistency to it. Yeah. Oh, those were lamb flowers. For some reason, I thought there was something else from... Okay, I found a chain that is pretty easy to get to. On another server I was on with maps, I reached the point where I had uh, six or seven different double chests filled with maps. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I had like a 9x9 nine nine for the overworld, a 7x7 seven seven for the end, and a... Uh, 2x2 two two for the nether. It'd be funny. Nice. Then I had a 7x7 seven seven for spawn um, of non-zoomed maps. And then just random uh, map art for other places. Huh. Mostly just like mapping different locations of interest. Like people's houses, special builds. Anything that looks fancy on a map. Okay, I found a good chain to get the uranium from uh, the confusion. Work on the next bundle of bundles continues. Bundles? Yep. Uh, the bundles are the weird bag things occasionally dropped by creatures. Oh.
Oh, oh, bye, potato. Oh, that's one map finished. Nice. Can I come over and take a look? <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, I'm at my little map place. Map and banner place what I built it? near spawn. If you go uh, to spawn, there's spawn. a little, like, building yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm heading over there now. That's right, I need iron yeah, frames. Spawn, I see you. Hi. Hello. Can I take a look at the map? Uh, yeah, it's the uh, map at the chest. Ooh, looks nice. How big does the draw controller go? A part of the what? The draw controller. What's the area of effect? I do not know. So how to figure it out? First. Welcome back. back. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't recommend uh, for our the new guest here, as I've seen his luck with getting them. Last part of the reactor is done. Some used to grave dust. You grave dust? Yeah, I have okay, so much up. of it, so I'm trying to figure out like what could I actually make from it. You can make so. strange scrolls. You can make an ankh of prey and put it in your offhand, and then you have plus ten reach to you. 
dust and block reach. No, oh, uh, grave dust. Stuff dropped from undeads. Yeah, you can make an ank of prey, and with that, if you have it in your offhand, you have to plus 10 blocks of reach. Oh. Which is kind of funny. It's interesting. I think it's meant to improve the... Work. I think it's meant to improve uh, the use of the ank. Because it can actually it's... be used on animals to pacify them, on zombie villagers to uh, cure them. It still gives other you plus 10 block reach. Yeah, that's what I find kind of funny is that that still happens. Yeah. I forgot, you can also bless uh, villagers and golems to prevent them from suffering their next death. Get out of my dying. Basically. Give uh, villagers and golems a temporary uh, revival uh, chance. Oh, I want to screw around with right, Let's just do but uh, botania stuff. Finally. <laughs> Book. Everything's unlocked. Because of course it is. <laughs> I picked up too much crap. Welcome to Botania. Uh, there's something you can unlock more by throwing it, in, it into an elven portal. Uh, yep, that's how I have everything unlocked. Oh. Uh. Okay, draw a controller. Wait. Okay, let's... One right, the other. Oh, I think the range is infinite. For the draw controller. So, yeah. Now I have a uh, easier way. Too bad we don't have frame draws. Then we could uh, make it. Uh, make I could make uh, the draws look like more white block. By the way, how big are you going to build your base? Uh, I haven't decided yet. I uh, probably won't go too much bigger than what I currently have. Oh. Um, with all of my stuff covered, covering. Yeah. I'll right behind the periodic table. I'm going to make a huge ass laboratory, and when you add one of the magic mods, I'll incorporate some magic element to it. Yeah, if you go like. To the other side of your periodic table, uh, I definitely won't be expanding in that direction. So, yeah, I don't think you would because it's kind of 
Going through the periodic table if you would. <laughs> yeah. So I kind of uh, blocked you off from going further by making my periodic table over here. What happens if I melt a redstone torch? I can. There is a marine shard. Gives a uh, selenium, niobium, and beryl. No. Oh. Thirty-four. I blow so. By the way, with the dual controller, I'm pretty sure with the you can make logic cables with like if you connect the logic cable to that and an item terminal, you can see all the bells. Hmm. No, I'm gonna test it out to see if that works. Storage terminal, logic cable, uh, item. Yeah, I can see uh, all the bells and. Like... Oh wow, that! Uh, oh, uh, you should come check this out. Another uh, lash. All right. What? Uh, come over to the periodic table. Uh, I put it in a drawer, con like a drawer controller, and connected a logic cable to it. And now I can just uh, access all the bells with one logic cable. Nice. I did not realize you can do that. Yeah, you can do that. Huh. That is interesting. Hey Lash. Mm. Drink water. Nah. Alright, give me a moment. <laughs> Here. <laughs> now in reality, I'll drink some water. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's violence. I was making sure that you're still here. No, not the carrots again. Carrots. There's always carrots. Oh. <laughs> Time to dissolve some more of the rotten flesh. Oh, Enderman, I need the Ender Pearl. We didn't drop any Ender Pearls. Kill more. If any come here, I will kill them.
by the way, uh, um, Lash, do you have any hmm? seeds? What kind? Beetroot. Uh, yeah, I have some. Uh, can I take some? I guess I'll know. Uh, give me a looking through. Where are my beetroots? Oh, looks like I'm just gonna have to punch a beetroot. Oh, you have going right here. Oh. There you go, some crap. Yeah, thank you. I, I'll start turning this into iron. If I melt beet roots, I have a 33% chance to get iron. That turns into when Turn that into amethyst. I should get a better food source for myself. I'm studying <laughs> carrots. Some of them, the carrots them. I shot at you. <laughs> yeah, and I'm about to run out of them. It's funny that the golden carrot did that much damage. It is. I just can set up Salil. Oh, would you look at that? I turned one beat wood in. A sixteen for an iron. Am I not sixteen? Eight. You know what's funny? You know you need crops, right? Yeah. So with unique crops, there's a plant that just goes crafting tables. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Ooh, the crafting table turned into cellulose. Pretty nice. By the way, do you have any extra sweet berries? Because I would like, like, one so I can start growing my uh, sweet berry empire. By the way, did you know you can do an MLG clutch with a sweet berry? With a sweet berry? Yeah. 
Oh uh, yeah, because it slows you down. Yeah, and and that's that's why you can do it. <laughs> Oof. I have some leather. Let's melt some leather. Gives protein. So I can turn rotten flesh into uncooked rabbits. I can turn rotten flesh into milk. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> Thank you for the offer, but no. <laughs> Why not? Don't you want my rotten flesh milk? <laughs> no. Well, I don't think I do. Well, your loss. I am fine with that loss. So I need four, seven more reactor cases. All right. So to begin this process, I need uh, mossy cobblestone because I want to be fancy. 
I think I can make you some blocks. if you don't have one, any. No! Oh, I have you enough. You can't make mossy cobblestone. You can't make mossy cobblestone with alchemy, of course. Nice. Oh, just gotta produce some uh, moss. Yummy moss. <laughs> Up a ways because I don't want to accidentally convert my entire place into moss. They make normal moss with. Oh, I can make moss. I have some bone meal on me, so just get the moss. Oh, I have plenty of bone meal. Yep. Would this work? Why do it work? Oh yes, it does work. And harvest uh, moss with a sickle. Oh, that's nice. Well, if it's we're gonna properly swing. Swing. There we go. Latency was just being weird. I doing it on glass and then up. Oh, never mind. This is also why I'm not gonna let my yard turn into moss, despite how much I'm fine with that. Promise is it breaks uh, easier. Yeah. Okay, I got moss for my soul. And she yoinked some of your moss. Yeah, that's fine. I got plenty. I can always have more. Oh, I can turn moss into silicone. Interesting. Stupid latency, stop it. <laughs> How am I suffering latency? Yeah, that I am literally kind of playing on the same machine as the uh, server. Yeah, that is kind of interesting. I do not think the server is going to survive while I'm gone. But I'll use that time to do oh. some research into uh, figuring out well, why it'd be weak. So you can turn moss into aluminum. Oh, okay. I think that goes for just normal dirt as well. Okay, I don't follow that logic, but very well. Yeah, that has a 10% chance to turn into aluminum. That's uh, lava, that's not helpful here. Bucket, water, place, book, inform me of the thing to do. Uh, rune of fire, rune of earth. Ah, uh, you don't have rune crafting yet. <laughs> you should, uh, what altar? are you trying to make? Uh, plants. Okay, you need living one? rock. To make living rock, you need a, a pure daisy first. Okay. That's the first plan you want to make, and then an endo flame. There you go, living rock. What do you get living rock? You didn't do anything.
Oh yeah, the Minecraft Laundry being on fire. Yeah, I noticed that for like just a split moment when I was loading it. Really what? caught me off guard. What do you mean on fire? The uh... The mana... Uh, the... Blah. The launcher where it's like, oh, you know, press play or whatever. Or like, select your game. You know, that thing. Yeah? Yeah, it's on fire. mean Curse Forge? No, not Curse Forge. Uh, the actual, like, Minecraft launcher towards, like, oh, Minecraft Dungeons, Minecraft oh, I haven't, stat, whatever. I haven't launched it. Let me launch the launcher by itself. See the on fire. Because I did not open it on April's. Earth it fire. says a new uh, update is ready. Restart the launcher to use the latest version, but it's not giving me the latest version when I reopen it. Well, I guess I'll have to look at it later then. I got completely off track. And it's still man a powder, nether wart, gunpowder, brick. Brick. I am completely off track of what I was trying to do. Man is still... Man is still, no, man go. Slash kill. No. <laughs> uh. Another work. Now you just need mana, on kid. You don't even have mana generation, do you? Nope. This is fine, because doing stuff the proper way is dumb, and I've already proven that multiple times. Well, you're not wrong. So I will continue to do this in, uh, a pa a, in a way. Just go steal mana from... from Aura. <laughs> nah, too easy. This, I need that or this stuff. Do that. Oh, oops, wrong one. You don't have a spark on the mana on the runic altar. You also oh, that's need right, you a spark need to. On that. Oh, okay. Sparks are just like uh, cables, and they link each other. I can pet the dog without being on fire, it's raining. Good job. Should I also clean my inventory before doing this? Yeah. Something I would say if I was a reasonable person. And you're not. Nope. 
I'm too weird. Okay. Oh, it requires a mana spreader to function. Uh, don't you have a mana blaster that you can use instead? Like, you have the mana gun, right? Yeah, I have the mana blaster. And you I just can need use to that make... instead. What lens equipment do you have on it? Uh, currently it's equipped with, uh... Um, painting. Oh, what color is it? Like, orange and yellow. Ah, nice. Is that how you got all the wool? No. <laughs> That's how I got some of it. Wait, I'm using this wrong, so... Look. Tell me the thing. No, your thing was getting more mana. I don't know what... Song. No, whatever, I'm just building a mana spreader. <laughs> the sensible option. I think there's a thunderstorm right now. Is it a thunderstorm? I think it is. I think I saw lightning, but I'm not sure. No, it's nope. not a thunderstorm. Not a thunderstorm. I'm about to die. Really? Yeah. It hit you that, that hard. My health. They did half your health? What the crap? Infinity armor isn't that good without anything else. <laughs> Alright, so I need mana spreader, which means I need elven dream wood. You need living wood. Elven dream wood. Okay then. Okay, I have ran out of carrots and now I'm starting to use sweet berry.
The reactor is just out of range of the music disc. Hmm. The only problem with sweet berries is that I keep accidentally planting it on the ground instead of eating it. <laughs> That's the only downside. Finally. Finally good. Yeah, got living wood. Nice. And now I can combine that with the living wood I already had. Make what? I don't know. I would recommend making a one of the fullest. Nah. Oh, it is up here. I think I'll just stick with uh, this item in my inventory called the Wand of the Forest. Ah. Good idea. Now to trade with some elves. Okay, good news. I did manage to use less materials. By the way, did you did you shoot some carrots at me? Maybe. I found five carrots on the ground. Who's asking? I'm asking you because thanks for the food. Seems like literally anything. By the way, with the one of the forest, you can do some funny shenanigans with levels. And then I need a dragon stone and a Gaia spit. What did you ask? A dragon stone and a Gaia spear. Isn't it Gaia? Gaia. I have a Gaia head, not a spirit. There we go. The Gaia Mana Spreader. Oh. Because 
you know, that seems like a good place to start, right? Yeah, that does sound like a good starting point. Oh, that's right. Okay, now I can get any materials from any material. I made a, fus a, fu a fusion reactor. Nice. So now I can make anything. Also, apparently the Mana Blaster was working, it's just stupid slow. Yeah, it was, and it's 75%, it's 0.75% less efficient. Uh, generating flora. These things sound fun to use. I could just go the generic route and just do end of flame and burn crap. You could. Or I could go with the shulk me not. Oh. <laughs> and just suffer or something. <laughs> That's an interesting way to go about it. Brown, gray, red. That's still just the fellow of Terracotta. The what? Why is that a Terracotta pillar? <laughs> Uh, too many questions. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't make them spin faster.
Go flame. Set it on fire. Oh yeah, now I remember what I was doing. Melting things. Did I have a full periodic table of things? Let's melt an egg. Carbonated calcium and protein. What? I made the endoflame faster. <laughs> <laughs> Does it actually make it faster? Oh. <laughs> pew 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 pew. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you need to feed it more. It's already done eating. <laughs> this is funny. Wow, it consumes it very fast. <laughs> Anyways, back to the um, one flower that apparently you just dump lava on. Familiarly? Yep. Need a red and two orange. There you go, Thermal Lily. Right. 
Thanks. Okay, so that does work as I expected it to work, which is good. Now to expand my uh, lava setup. Huh. Yep, horse is still here. Being a horse. Horse. All right, so now to set up. I guess I'll also make it fancier too in the process. Any more pointed dripstone? Let's see if I can make pointed dripstone with alchemy. You can. What do you need for it? Calcium uh, carbonate. Oh, uh, I get that from eggs. How much calcium carbonate for a dripstone? Uh, just one. Okay, just one. Eggs. Make calcite. Uh. Rip. Okay. Lock recipe. Those recipe selection. Okay, now it's making dripstone. Right over here. Oh, you had some on you? No, I just made some by throwing eggs at the machine. Oh. Well, enjoy the calcium carbonate. <laughs> Why did you throw it on that dissolver? Now I messed up a bit. When you dissolve oh. things... Here's the top one because the the bottom and the other one is for the the specialized uh, carb uh, diamond trade. Oh, uh, okay. So I'll just move the eggs over here. All right. Sorry about that. Ah, no big deal. Didn't do much damage. Did you take some of the dripstone already? Yep. Okay. Also, too, apparently eggs make a lot of the calcium carbonate, so, uh... Yeah. Enjoy, I guess. I was thinking, like, oh, what would be interesting? 16 dripstone, so 16 eggs. And No, apparently no, I just needed one egg, one egg so... <laughs> have fun. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm planning on melting everything I have. Into these materials. So far, the 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 periodic table starting to be fleshed out. Like, I feel the top part of it. I really need to make a quote out. channel. So many just needlessly outrageous things are said. Sixteen egg for sixteen pointed lips on. Nah, sixteen lips on for one egg. Oh no, I was more talking about like, oh, don't worry about it. I'm about to melt everything. <laughs> This is just like that level of insanity. Like, just the things that, like, out of context just makes no freaking sense at all. 
Yeah, you know what they say. I'm the I'm the mad scientist housewife. Yeah, crap like that. Or like when I leveled guild uh, guild toss in Final Fantasy, I was like, ooh, cool! Now I can throw coins harder. <laughs> Just, I will say this. Just like the things to where without people. context or even with context, you're just like, what? Yeah, some people have told me that I make some very quotable, uh, uh, that a lot of things I say are very quotable. You know what? fuck this, I'm slapping this zombie with a shovel so hard it's going to go to the second dimension. Why use shovel when you can use a uh, sharpness 20 stick? The shovel does 16 damage. Shovel. Nice. Only a spoonful. Do you have an anvil somewhere? Oh uh, yeah, it's like somewhere over there. Uh, okay. I'm just renaming the, the shovel. Okay, I renamed the shovel. <laughs> Here, look at it. Spoon. What music this did you pick? Chirp. Why does chirp sound like this? I don't know. That's what it sounds like? Fair enough. Crap, what was I even doing? Oh, that's right, I was expanding the setup, which I was wanting to use... Uh, fancy crap, so I was wanting to make slabs. The funny thing is, when I stand on the... The resolver, I can barely hear the chirp. It's still chirp? Yes. I don't think I've ever listened to it fully. So I have no. I don't remember it being like this. I have a chest that's just. Uh, I found the music. This chest. I have decided the only path forward is excessiveness, so. What are you doing? <laughs> I am committing a funny. Oh. Those blocks look kind of nice. Do you know what they do? Don't they make a dungeon? Uh, no. So what do they do? That. Oh, just like the ones from Twilight Forest. Yep. Excuse me, I'm building here. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I made a loop. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Okay. Oh. <laughs> These blocks are funny. They are. What does it take to make one? Uh, I don't remember. I just kind of stole them. You need ancient fire. How do you get an ancient fire? Uh, I don't know. Would you please, like, not for a moment? <laughs> yeah, it's just fun to mess around with it. Yeah, they are. 
Well, let me finish first. Yeah, I'll wait. What are you making with it? You'll see. Tax evasion. Oh. Hi, Snom. Hello, Snom. <laughs> you just got heated with that. Ah, oh, I see. Are you trying to make an infinite lava source? Technically. I don't think it's gonna work. What are you trying to... Well, how are you trying to make an infinite lava source? It said technically. Yeah, that's why I asked how. Technicalities. Amelilis only eat source blocks. Yeah, I know. Hey Storm, remember when you said you were gonna just log one day in and you'll see a big ass lab behind all this place? Well, I did something similar. Jesus Christ, <laughs> you recreated the periodic table. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I took one look at it and I could instantly see that, that, that was a, that's in the shape of the periodic table. <laughs> Here, you want a miniature periodic table? I can see you're holding it. Right click it, like use, actually use it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there's a fusion reactor and a fission reactor. God, it even has like all the different things showing, oh yes, radioactive. Uh, reactive non-metals. Anyways, I made a big spoon. Like, like, it's named Big Spoon. God. And there we go. And, Technically, and infinite you know, lava. Wanna know something funny? You can make, you can turn one egg into 16 pointed dripstone. Uh, yeah. Without any extra steps. Okay. Oh. Hmm, okay, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, you're making that type of lava source. Yep. Hmm, ah. hot tub. Anyways, right now I'm liquefying all my uh, my belongings. Uh, oh, by the way, Snom, I turned all the copper that you gave me into two and almost three copper singularities. Yeah, I thought that would happen. Yeah, like the singularities are in this uh, in this uh, backpack right here, and uh, sing and there's a copper singularity almost done with them out of copper. I knew I had way more than enough to make all this. The thing is, uh, I'm guessing you just regularly smelted like all the copper. Uh, yeah, he smelted it. Just did it regularly chest. through like this. Yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna make a smeltery setup. <laughs> not yet, oh, at least. There's a there's a better way without even using a smeltery setup. Uh, which way? Great. Uh, no. If you use an arc furnace from Immersive Engineering, you can get Do you know how long it would take to make an arc furnace? Uh, it would take a while. I yeah, think R already has one. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's been going into that. Yeah, if, I, if you use an arc furnace and you put a raw copper block in there, you get 13 iron, or 13 uh, copper, as well as there's a 50% chance of you getting an extra. Oh, I'll just start making copper out of wood. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, nice unlock nice pipes recipe. here. It seems like it's just taking it out and then throwing no, it No, I forgot in. to unlock the recipe because I was making dripstone. But yeah, this is a diamond setup from wood. Right now, I'm, melt I'm just melting everything.
one day on the server got a damn periodic table in his damn pocket. Yeah, this is just going to be like uh, the front of the building. I'll probably move it a bit high. Oh, by the way, yeah, I wanna, uh, so you know how the drawers, like, it's, like, it's annoying because it's not annoying, like, you know how drawers, like, one block contain a lot of stacks of one item? You mean drawers? Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, yeah? So, you know, have you used the drawer controller? Yeah. In fact, yeah, it's so you can just for me right now. Yeah, so you can just connect the logic cable with an item interface, and yeah, it reacts to all the all the things inside of it, all the on all the laws. Do you know if there's a range limit for the drawer controller? Uh, yes, I do. What's the range limit? I don't know the range limit. I just know that there is a range. Oh. So far, I've seen it works for 10 blocks out. At least. I don't know if there's more, but it, it at least reaches 10, 10 ways out. That I want. Oh, and Lash started going into Britannia. Yep. Oh, yeah, how's the flower I gave you working for you? The flower? Yeah. I don't remember. Which flower? The flower that's, in, that's right next to your animals. Oh, yeah, that flower. Uh. Uh, Why am I hearing it twice? I use Wait, it sometimes. Guys, it's pretty nice. And then, uh... Uh, Lash, I think you turned on the voice chat in Minecraft. I'm hearing it twice. Well, sucks to suck. Uh... uh... There you go. Yeah, no, I don't. Fortunate. It was weird, because I was hearing it twice. I thought I unmuted your stream, and then I checked, but no, it was still muted. <laughs> So I can turn eggs into iron with a 10% chance. Okay. Because apparently if you melt pointed dripstone, it, ha it gives a, has a chance for iron, gold, and silicon from, uh, from eggs. Uh, okay, that sounds in scientifically inaccurate, but okay. <laughs> Minecraft, what, what will I say? What's the percent? But there is a percent that I lo and that I lose uh, and that it gives out nothing. There's a thirty-two percent for nothing and a thirty-two percent for another calcium carbonate to do it again. So it is pretty funny. Yes, I love using calcium carbonate to get calcium carbonate. And the gold. And iron. And uh, silicone. So yeah, just making an egg farm will turn everything into anything. <laughs> We're using wood to farm everything. Why not use eggs? I'll just use eggs. Eggs. Exactly. Sticky pistons, which are pistons, are uh, stuff. Redstone, iron, wood, and stone. Cobblestone. Good job. Ow.
Uh, by the way, Lash, do you have any fiery ingots? Fiery ingots? No. Ah, I want some to make some blocks for decoration. Oh, that's right, it was an iron chest. Okay. Huh. Indeed. I think I found a way to turn any liquid into any liquid. <sighs> I think I found a way to transmute any liquid. Nice. Don't tell me it's something stupid like uncrafting a bucket. <laughs> no. It's a bottling machine. Also, someone picked up two of my pointed dripstone. Uh, I'm uh, just gonna randomly some... still sub them from a uh, thing over here. Oh, it's uh, here. I have six on me. Okay. So I'm down next to the. Yeah, I think someone walked up with magnetism. Yeah, I think it was Slum. Slum has. No, I actually, uh, no, I actually had mine in my. I actually had my thing in my trinket. Case. Why? Well, I saw the magnetization particles coming off of you when you were close to me. I don't know. I had my my ring wasn't even on. Weird. Actually, I should probably put it on. I'm building. Uh, by the way, I can turn rotten flesh into milk, which is a funny way. Which is pretty funny.
Oh yeah, I just remember I can turn sweet berries more sweet berries. <laughs> He's just always going in his kind of old and try to get out. Let's see if we can log into his creative world this time. Now with that done, I need dripstone. You need... you need to make you some? Uh, no. Uh, I just need to pit the... dripstone down. There we go. I wonder if this actually speeds it up. I... hmm. I speed uh, spinning up the cold and uh, next to it. See if it's cold and all the drips. You can't speed up a cauldron. Yeah? Nope. Oh, it is 100% the drip stone. Oh, yep, okay. Anyways, this is how you get lava. You're on fire. Don't make me load this thing with gold carrots. Oh no, <laughs> not again. <sighs> Alright, and now we watch lava grow. <laughs> You have ancient debris. Uh, yes, but that's like, mighty expensive. Like the debris itself, like not the not netherite. Yes. What can I trade you for it? I have some diamonds I can trade. How much diamonds for two ancient debris? Uh, say ten. Okay, deal. Is the Diamond. Wait, I need two. Oh, you need two? Yeah, yeah alright. Need... There you go. Cute. Server is lagging a little bit. Yeah, it is. Okay, Anyways, now that that crap is going, what's next on Be Dumb? Yeah, I need four sheep.
is there an advancement for getting a middle star? Yes. Really? I think so. Wait, is it uh, getting the getting the nether star or killing the wither? No, just getting another star. Is there one for it? I don't remember if there's one. I'm trying to figure out if there is one, but I cannot remember. Too brown, too orange, too white. I need two iron blocks. This time, to do some transmutation to make iron. Well, do you have just two iron blocks I can borrow? A what? Two iron blocks. After slide, they like kick a mule to help pick large. Produce the kick he moves. Mm. What plant did you just make? Cake. Oh, the cake! Yeah, if you just throw cake, it makes a fuck ton of mana. I'm gonna stand here and wait for anything. One. Actually, I'm not gonna wait. Mm. Have a night. Curiosity. Impact shield. I made a shield. It does not like element 115. I mean, experiment 115. <laughs> uh, try shooting me with your uh, cannon again. Eh? Made a shield. Nice. Oh. I think it went. Where did the arrow go? Oh, it's like that. <laughs> now I just need an eternal Stella because I like this sheet. But now I finally have my own shield. Nice. That's right, I was making cake. 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 Flapping for the cake. I can shoot the cake! What? <laughs> With the cannon? Wait, let me unequip my shield, wait. What uh, are you guys doing over there? Okay, shoot me. Nothing happened. Now you need to make- oh, you got your cake. Okay, now it will eat it. Wait, Dean, I think you need to forward instead of, uh, facing it. Oh, never mind. Hey, it made some mana.
All right, now to speed run diabetes. <laughs> Make diet pills. Do you know what diet pills do? Yeah. You should make them, it's funny. All right, how fast can I give up plant diabetes? Wait, I just realized what the shield does. Uh, I need you to uh, keep attacking me until the shield gets destroyed. With what? Uh, just attack me. I need to destroy the shield. Something would happen when it's about to get destroyed. Wait, don't attack the mirror the durability. It has, uh, doesn't say, well... I see the pixels going down, so it should be fine. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, it's about to break. Uh, do this from range now, when it's close to break. Because I think it does something interesting when, it's, uh, bre when it breaks. You just need to be far enough away from me that it won't... Uh, Okay, it's about to break. Yeah, that's what it does. Nice. Yeah, it costed me a little star. <laughs> but it's a wolf. It. I can turn rotten flesh into a tropical fish. Fish. Magic.
Ja. Ja. Yes. I know you're in here. What? Nice, Dom. Oh, this fucking... fucking mine. Did it crash? I, I don't know why, but my fucking Minecraft, despite lowering settings, changing a bunch of shit, no matter what, it'll just fucking max out my memory or CPU. Oh. This only happens with fucking Minecraft. Didn't even load into the fucking server. Well, I'm gonna go drop a nuke on a frog. Peace. <laughs> Guess you weren't wrong about the qu quotes channel. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, time to explode a flower. <laughs> Which one? The one that explodes. Now, what's the safest way? I'll just shoot an arrow. No, the, the one that explodes and takes the explosion for mana does not destroy the rain. Anyways, I hope it works. Oh, this is going to be very unfortunate when it finally detonates. Okay, cool. Well, 
think, Inti, maybe I should get closer. Okay, did it actually already consume all of that mana? Yeah, it, it doesn't make that much, but it makes it really good. And now I'm just liquefying my asset. Nope, 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 nope. What happened? I broke the flower after setting off the TNT. <laughs> Did you manage to save it? Or... Oh yeah, I saved it. There, if I had a bunch of these lined up, I could just set off a bunch of TNT. Each one down the line will just grab the explosive explosion. Well, you can just use droppers. Okay, not droppers, sensors. By the way, what food source do you use? Uh, whatever the crap I find laying around the place. Makes sense. Apparently it's chicken. I murdered a bunch of chickens for feathers. Oh, I found a material I haven't, I haven't put in a, my periodic table yet. Stone Team 39. I low calcium. And that's. Well, I can make this better rather than having to light it every single time. Stick. Redstone. Redstone on a stick. Tempted to click left click on the anthropophenium. Uh, <laughs> I would gonna... explode you. No, I would explode myself if I did that. Do you see how many chests are nearby? Yeah. What did, is that blaze? What is that? What is blaze lantern. Ah. It smelts for a lot. So, yeah. I'll try to see how well it worked. A super fast and no flame moment. Awesome. Gonna keep shooting. You gonna keep shooting? No. 
just because they pulled out of my shield? Uh, no, the uh, first shot I thought missed because of latency. Oh. Uh. And so, then I got the indication that you were hit after I fired uh. the second one. So I was just like, oops, uh... I guess yeah, there's I two carrots. You'd think it was only normal carrots and not golden carrots. <laughs> Are you gonna throw a golden one now that I said it? I don't have any golden ones on me. Uh. Alright, what else can we mess around with? Uh, that one eats stuff. Uh, don't feel like dealing with it. Supposedly that one's stupid slow. Also, too, they decay after three days, so... Which one? The water one? Yeah. Well, not funny. So not worth it for doing the funny. I really do need to get myself a better food sauce. <laughs> hmm. Lunch, too, could be fun. Oh yeah, that fun. The slimmest doesn't work because I'm not in a slime chunk. It's still funny that I managed to break and break up armor. I still think it's kind of funny. The rough, rough flow, rough could probably be messed around with using certain types of bone, certain attempts at bone mill. Hmm. Oh wait, no, eats man-made flowers in the petal pock theory. So it's not just any random flowers; it's actually ah. the Specialized yeah. flowers. Tania flowers. Yeah. There's an arcana. Could be interesting, especially considering at my current point there's not too much need for uh, experience levels. Oh yeah, the rose arcana, that's a good one. Spectrolis uh, could be set up, especially too with one of the unique crops that causes a uh, harvesting wool to give random colors. So I could just use that to oh, harvest a bunch ha of okay, random colors. So I was harvesting some sweet berries, and then I just uh, harvest a carrot, and then I realized it was one of the carrots you shot. <laughs> yep, I missed quite a few times. I really, I can see. <laughs> and liquefying everything takes a while. All right, Jesus so. Christ, liquefying will give so much. Like, one piece of will is giving me 213. Do you know how powerful Keratin is? In case of base block? Um, what? Do you know how much materials Keratin give? Probably a lot. Like, here, take one and read the description. Like, look at the amount of letters. I forgot one. Yeah, 
Yep, carotene. Yeah, it gives so much. Yep. I'm thinking about making another dissolver. <laughs> <laughs> Takes so long to melt things. Oh. <laughs> Again? Out of gold? Wow. Again? Oh no, I think I fully... Yeah, I accidentally filled a drawer with hydrogen. <laughs> yeah. Oops. And you have some obsidian per chance. Well, I love it, yeah. Uh, like, how much is, is a little bit? I need eight. <laughs> mm, yeah, I have eight. Oh, can I, can I use them to make a void upgrade? Uh, sure. You. Oh, it's Indian. No. And I got an advancement.
Pull it up. Eight. Full hydrogen. Now hydrogen will not be a problem anymore. I actually filled up the hydrogen. <laughs> oh, I guess time to make a hydrogen bomb. Okay, I put in close to a stack of carbonate, uh, close to a stack of calcium carbonate. So I'm gonna need, I'm gonna be on the early. That was interesting. Although, uh. Oh, messed around with a bunch of botanious stuff. Ugh. Started map design. Mm. 
So I think it's gonna be time for me to end stream. Go for a while in a and a lot of crap's gonna be happening the following days, so I need to get ready. For that stuff. So I'm gonna be ending the stream here. Um Interesting. All right, well, uh, yeah, maybe in the stream here. Mm. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I will try to figure out what went wrong with the Rift Breaker so that in the future that doesn't happen again. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to be uh, going on a trip, family trip, for the following week. So there will be no streams between now and April 9th or 10th. Um, also, to the yeah, I don't think the microserver is gonna survive. Oh God, what was it this time? Well, I'll get that sorted out. Whatever. Um. Yeah, so, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, with all this crap done. <laughs> crap. But yeah, so that's gonna be it for today. Um, next stream is probably gonna be Monday, April 10th. Which will be, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics A2. Uh, Grimmer of the Rift, a uh, game for the DS that I really enjoyed, and I've just seen some other people playing tactics games, specifically Fire Emblem. Uh, I kind of want to try it again. Hi, Potato. Uh, yeah, server crash. Uh, so, gonna fix that after I end the stream. But yeah, so that's gonna be it for stream today, though. So. Thank you for watching and have a good day and uh or night or whatever time zone it is. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching and bye for now.